Packet Tracer has some menus. In this video, we will focus on these menus one by one. Let's start with File menu. In File menu, you can open new projects, you can open your old projects, and you can save the projects. And you can also print the screen with this menu. In Edit menu, you can copy your devices, you can paste this, you can read under your steps, etc. In Option menu, there is Preferences, User Profile, Algorithm Settings, View Command Log. In User Profile, you can write something about you, it's not important. In Algorithm Settings, there are some arrangements about TCP. And in View Command Log, there are some logs about the commands you enter. For example, let's make an example. CLI is opening. I say enable, I'm enable mode, and for example, I think okay, it's pinging now. When I update here, I can see the commands I wrote enable and ping command. It's okay. In option fields, the preferences is very important. Uh, with preferences, you can arrange what you want to see on the screen. For example, you can remove the model labels, you can remove the name labels like this and as you can see uh, on the router uh, it is also remote you can remove port numbers link likes etc here in administrator menu you can give passwords and uh, you can arrange your uh, file locations in hide button you can hide some tabs in front tab you can arrange the fonts on the screen in miscellaneous parts, you can arrange something about simulations, and then custom interface tab and publisher tab. In the view menu, you can arrange zoom in, zoom out, and zoom reset parts. You can arrange toolbars if you want to remove any toolbars here, you can remove here. And tools, there's a drawing palette. You can draw a circle. Especially, it is useful for uh, arranging domains or areas, etc. For example, this is one area and uh, this is the other area. You can arrange a rectangular scan bar autonomous system like this. And this is a palette dialog. You can draw something here. Let's remove this. In Tools menu, there is custom device dialog. And with this custom device dialog, you can arrange a template device and you can use it in your following topologies. Let's remove all of them and also remove from the below, you can see. And uh, I will arrange a custom router here. It's my router. And I will add some models here. Now, uh, first, I need to power down. I'm adding some models here, as you can see. And I will select this router as template. Router and record it. Yes. And as you can see, below it's appeared. And whenever I use this device again, it is like my arrangement. For example, when I click. My models are here. This is my template device. In extension menu, there are some settings about multi-user. We will talk about this later. In help parts, uh, is here uh, to help you. There are some contents, tutorials, and you can also check uh, 